Indian origin UK professor Nitasha Kaul was denied entry into India. Uh, she was deported from Bangalore airport. She was here to take part in Karnataka government organized two day convention uh, on 24th and 25th of February. The convention named uh, Constitution and National Unity Convention. She was supposed to be the speaker there and she had come there to take part in that. She also showed her letter uh, of sponsorship, her letter of invitation by the organizers, but she was uh, not late. Uh, in India and at the immigration only, uh, she was asked to return and she was deported. She on her Twitter uh, profile, she has said that she was denied entry because of her opinions on democratic and constitutional values. And she also said that airport official told her that because of her anti-RSS uh, stances in the past, she has been denied entry into India. Now, uh, Nidasha Kaur, who has been a vocal critic of uh, Indian government on CA on uh, 370 on Indian government's stance on Kashmir. She has also testified as witness in, in the uh, US Senate uh, while criticizing Indian government's stance on the issue of Kashmir, uh, calling them uh, a wide scale human rights uh, violation. Now, uh, since uh, the, the issue has come to fore when she was denied entry into India, uh, there has been a lot of uh, Twitter conversation also going on where she is trying to clarify her position. Uh, and how she was denied entry. Uh, she has said that uh, I was denied entry for speaking on democratic and constitutional values. She has also said that she was invited to conference by the delegates of Karnataka government. Uh, on her Twitter profile, she has shown the letter uh, of invitation, the letter of his, uh, you know, registration. Uh, and still, she was not allowed to get past the immigration. Uh, she is saying that I was not given any reason of uh, uh, immigration except we cannot do anything and there are orders from Delhi. This is what she has written on uh, her Twitter profile. Uh, she says that her travel and logistics were arranged by Karnataka and she had the official later with her. Uh, she spent about 12 hours in a flight from London to Bangalore, several hours at immigration where they shuttle me here and there provided no info on process then 24 hours in a holding cell and the direct cctv with restrictive movement and a narrow area to lie down and no easy access to food and water so this is what she has claimed uh, on her twitter profile that this is how she was treated uh, and she made dozens of calls to airport for basic things as pillows and blankets which they refused to provide then 12 hours on the flight back to london uh, nishita call has been a vocal critic of Indian government's various stance on key policy issues, especially on CAA, on uh, issues regarding Kashmir, issues regarding abrogation of 370. She has also uh, been a witness at uh, one of the US Senate congressional uh, hearing where she has uh, said that how she has been, uh, you know, how the Indian government has been violating a lot of uh, human rights issues and how uh, these, uh, the, how the government of India should ask sorry. Uh, to the to the people of Kashmir, there has not been any official commentary regarding why Nitasha Kaul was not late entry into India. There has uh, immigration, which is broadly handled by Ministry of Home Affairs, has not responded uh, to these things. Uh, Ministry of External Affairs has also not commented uh, commented on this because Ministry of External Affairs issues visa and OCI, OCI card uh, belongs to uh, the that, that department. However, immigration is entirely handled by the Ministry of Home Affairs. So uh, while we wait for uh, the final uh, you know, response from the government of India as to what could have been the reason why Nita Shakal was not uh, allowed an entry into India to take part in this uh, two-day seminar organized by Karnataka government, there is enough of uh, Twitter conversation going on on her timeline where she is trying to defend her stances, she is trying to uh, defend whatever allegations are being leveled against her of the of her past commentary of her past uh, attendances in events which uh, were not pro india they were rather anti india and how her anti india stances have been more uh, about uh, human rights issues and nothing uh, against india so this is how it has been going on uh, we still uh, awaiting we are still awaiting a response from the government of india on the issue of deportation of nitasha call from bangalore airport back to london